Okay, so our first question is from user Lettuce Chill. And his first question are, is, what are the findings from DLT and ZK Snarks research? Any interesting ideas that can be integrated with Ouroboros? And what are some of the interesting things of these protocols? So this is a three-part question um, asking you about DLT and ZK Snarks research and how that relates with Ouroboros. Yeah, okay. So let me just uh, take it from the ZK Snarks. As DLT, I guess, um, distributed ledger technology is a very broad concept. So I'm not sure actually um, I w what uh, what this might refer to. I mean, distributed ledger technology is a broad is a, is a very broad umbrella term. But uh, ZK Snarks is something quite specific that we can get on right away. So ZK Snarks is a, a very interesting cryptographic tool. Uh, it stands for zero knowledge, succinct, non-interactive argument of knowledge. Uh, so this sounds like a handful, but basically what it does is that it enables to communicate that a certain statement uh, that is publicly known has a proper structure and I know certain possibly private uh, items or uh, components of that statement. So. Uh, these are a technology which uh, belongs in a big tradition uh, in cryptographic research that goes back many decades and has to do with uh, zero-knowledge proofs. So uh, a ZK SNARK uh, enables to create such a zero-knowledge proof, so-called, in a way that is quite efficient uh, to be uh, to be uh, stored, so the size of the proof itself is is small, and then this is where the succinct or the S part in the snark uh, comes from. So, uh, over the last uh, few years, there's been a lot of developments in uh, designing more efficient and uh, performant uh, zk snarks, and uh, it has been early on observed that they can be used uh, in the context of blockchain protocols to um, um, perhaps. Um, potentially add them private, uh, make them more private or make them more efficient. Now, in the context of Ouroboros, uh, we have already seen a couple of examples where ZK SNARKs could be useful. Actually, we do have two uh, works that are coming up in the upcoming IEEE Security and Privacy Conference uh, that will be in California in May 2019. In the first of these works called Ouroboros Crypsinus, uh, we are developing a version of uh, the Ouroboros protocol that is privacy enhanced. So basically, if you want very similar to uh, uh, Zcash for uh, those viewers, that, viewers, for those listeners that are familiar with that protocol, it's possible to hide uh, the transactions so that it's not possible by looking at the ledger to understand uh, what is, let's say, the recipient of a specific payment. Um, so we're developing a system where it's proof of stake, but at the same time, uh, it is uh, possible to have this uh, privacy enhanced ledger. And this is done by um, applying uh, by an, as an application of ZK SNARKs. Uh, another potential for ZK SNARKs uh, is coming in another paper, which also is going to appear at the same conference. Uh, and this is the proof of stake side chains, where uh, we show that it's possible to use ZK SNARKs to create uh, succinct proofs that a certain event uh, took place in a blockchain and then demonstrate that in a uh, different blockchain. So this is the problem that refers to how is it possible to establish uh, an event in one blockchain and then uh, have another uh, event take place in a target blockchain uh, as um, uh, an outcome. So this is something that enables things like peggings between blockchains, transferring assets between blockchains and so forth. So there's plenty of nice applications about ZK SNARKs and, uh, and this would be something that uh, uh, we definitely have in the context of Ouroboros research and there's like these two papers that as an example that show uh, how we plan to use them in at least two different cases for privacy and for uh, interoperability between different uh, blockchains. So you mentioned Ouroboros Crypsinus. Um, I have a follow-up question personally. Um, you're mentioning privacy within the proof of stake protocol Cardano and um, Cardano wants to interoperate with the legacy system. So how do you balance privacy with truly being interoperable? Because large companies, large existing companies, you have the Facebooks, the Amazons, the Googles, 
they want to maintain a certain level of control. And that's just a, a broad example, but I'm sure smaller companies want to maintain a sense of control as well. Is there Are there instances where companies can control how private their transactions can be? Or is there is there some sort of sliding scale? Uh, yeah. So um, I guess here the issue is that uh, you can think of privacy at uh, having at many different levels. Uh, and uh, the, the question here is that there's always a trade-off. Um, on the one hand, you definitely want to have uh, privacy for a certain number of transactions. I mean, there is uh, a lot of, uh, for example, legal requirements that a company should conform to. For example, like in Europe, there is the GDPR regulation, and there are similar data privacy regulations everywhere in the world that uh, a company that handles uh, uh, client data uh, should be compliant with. So um, having protocols which are decentralized is clearly uh, comes at a certain moment and clashes with privacy. The problem here is like just being decentralized means that you may have many different actors uh, being uh, active in maintaining, for example, a distributed ledger. And then the immediate question that arises is that what information potentially these actors should possess in order to perform the act of maintenance. So. Um, Actually, this is in many cases a very interesting trade-off, and uh, and this is actually where some of these uh, cryptographic techniques, for example, like zk snarks, can be particularly useful. Many distributed ledger uh, protocols, um, as they are right, right now, they they have serious privacy um, uh, serious privacy leakages, so to speak. Uh, I mean, we can. You know, for example, Bitcoin is a, is, is a very good example of that, where uh, basically there is a lot of information to be extracted by analyzing the Bitcoin blockchain, as you know, numerous, numerous works have shown already. So it's very interesting to see um, how to what degree it is possible to achieve decentralization and privacy at the same time. Uh, there is like, for example, Roboros Kripsinus is one of the examples of research that we've been doing recently towards that direction. But in general, I, um, I, I, I can say that this is one of the very interesting research uh, directions right now for uh, distributed ledgers, uh, and one that I anticipate is going to be a lot of more uh, work that needs to be invested on in the next uh, one or two years.